Hello and welcome to this Megablox Call of Duty Collector's Construction Sets review with me Tom from the SS Motion. Today we're taking a look at the Heavy Armour Outpost which is set number 068221 it's for ages 14 and up it has 726 pieces and it retails for approximately £60. So first let's take a look at the figures. Our first figure is a standard soldier wearing a gas mask seen here and he has an ammo pouch and a concussion grenade on his vest that might be a flashbang an ammo pouch on his fire holster and some random accessories which I have placed on his backpack he comes with a scoped AK-47 rifle and is a figure which I believe it was stated somewhere is meant to simulate an SAS soldier so that's very cool the next figure we have is a standard US soldier I nickname him the tank driver and he comes with an orange uh, concussion grenade or flashbang a green ammo pouch on his vest there a khaki coloured knife there along with another green ammo pouch seen here and no other accessories and with him if I pop it out of his hand quickly we get uh, LMG I'll give it a minute and see if it wants to focus an LMG with a shotgun barrel and a removable drum mag like so and the third and final figure is the legendary Captain John Price now Captain Price is seen wearing his trademark boonie cap with his green sleeveless shirt his khaki coloured combat vest and a knee pad on one of his legs along with some brown coloured boots he comes with a nicely painted combat knife I've added a green ammo pouch on his back from the set he comes with a silver flashbang and a desert tan coloured uh, ammo pouch and the weapon on this figure is an M16 assault rifle as seen here Okay, so that's it for the figures. We do get a care package to store the accessories in. If we take a look at that now. So you can see some nice texture work on the care package. Some exposed studs on top and some metal grates. And the care package itself is openable. So you can store accessories inside. So that's it from the accessory portion. There is another bit where the accessories are stored. But I will show you that later on when we get into the tank. So before we move on to the tank, we first have the outpost part of the set where we get a nice concrete-like bunker structure here with some sandbags, some railings and some details to make it look really nicely textured. We get a camouflage net piece to go over the top and we also get two base plates forming the back as well. As you can see here, the back is pretty bare so you've got space if you want to display something like a care package there. So that's it for the outpost and the figures. There's not really much to say with them. I'm glad we got a John Price. Um, but apart from that, I would say the main thing that actually makes this set is the tank. And the tank is modelled upon an M1 Abrahams, which has appeared in multiple Call of Duty games and is a very, very loyal model. It represents the tank nicely and it generally looks very, very good. So if we take a look at the features, starting with the turret and working our way down onto the body. On the turret we have a machine gun turret up here that can rotate, can be aimed up and down, and a figure can be displayed on it. We have the main cannon which can be elevated up and down and also rotates, like so. We have some nice details all along the tank, such as gas canisters on the side here. Whoops, I knocked that piece off. A backpack and another tanker on the back and then there's gas canisters on the other side and the nice feature with this is that the rear opens to reveal, reveal an accessory storage area that's where the rest of the accessories are being stored so that's another nice feature um, and I like that they've included it in the tanks it means that you can actually have the figures uh, accessories stored within the tank because with this figure you need to remove the vest and fire strap to put him within the tank so it's nice that there's somewhere to store them still on board the tank once you've removed them moving down into the body we don't have as many features we have an opening hatch here 
with enough space inside for one figure. And we have the rotating treads with wheels underneath. So now I'll give you a nice 360 look at the tank. You can see all the nice great details. Printed pieces. And seen there again. So again, the tank isn't overly heavy on features, but it's a very, very loyal representation of what it's meant to be. And that is something which I like a lot. I mean, the M1 Abrams is arguably the most common tank within the games. Um, I'd say seconded to possibly some of the Russian design tanks within the game. But the Abrams is definitely the most frequently seen tank. And it's the tank which looks the best in Mega Bloks form. Um, I like the figures included, if we have another quick look at them. The US soldier is nice, he's got some nice camouflage work on his legs, as seen there. The SAS soldier is nice again. Again, some nice camouflage details. And Captain Price just steals the set. Getting him really seals the deal with this set. So it's nice to have this set as it um, gives us a beautiful tank, a nice piece of terrain, and an amazing uh, assortment of figures. Uh, just before we go, I'm going to quickly show you some of the other named figures, and who I would recommend displaying this figure with. So now you've got Captain Price, I'd say it would be awesome to display him with Sandman here, who comes in the Dome Battleground. That's a custom brick arm side arm there. Uh, but yes, yeah, Sandman would look awesome displayed with your Captain Price figure. So there you go guys, it's been Tom here with your first look at Call of Duty Mega Bloks here on the channel. I'm excited to bring you more reviews in the future if you would like them. And that's really it from me. I hope you guys have a great week. I am very excited to meet a lot of you at Bloxfest. And until then guys, stay awesome and I hope to catch you again in the near future for another video.